A United Nations Security Council delegation wrapped up a three-day visit to DR Congo, with ambassadors stressing a political solution to end the raging M23 rebel conflict. The M23 has seized swathes of territory in the Democratic Republic of Congo's North Kivu province since re-emerging from dormancy in late 2021. M23 fighters have also advanced in recent days, threatening to cut off all road links to Goma, a city of more than one million people on the Rwandan border. Fighting between Congolese forces and the M23, which is allegedly backed by Rwanda, has displaced over 800,000 people, according to the UN. A delegation from the UN Security Council arrived in the DRC capital Kinshasa before traveling to Goma. The team met Congolese President Felix Shisekedi. In Goma they had talks with local officials, civil leaders and toured a displaced persons camp. The Security Council visit came after the collapse of an Angola-mediated ceasefire, which was due to take effect. Several previous peace initiatives have also failed. Shelling during M23 army clashes killed five civilians in Cajamiro, 120 kilometers north of Goma, according to security officials and local residents. The DRC government accuses Rwanda of backing the M23. Independent UN experts, the United States, France and several other Western states have also concluded that Rwanda supports the Tutsi-led group. Kigali denies the charge. <laughs>